I'm Mark Hugo, vehicle test engineer with Meritor, along with Jim Park, equipment editor. Over the next couple days, we're going to be doing a ride and drive on vehicles equipped with Meritor brake products. Are you ready to go, Jim? I can't wait to get started, Mark. Let's get out there. Okay, Mark, so what are we out to accomplish with this particular run? Well, this is our drum brake equipped uh, Cascadia, and uh, just to kind of get you familiar with, uh, with the brakes and the truck. We're approaching the, uh, the target area for our first stop. I'm going to maintain 35 miles an hour, and when we hit the first set of cones, I'm going to make a moderate brake application and bring the truck to a stop, and we'll sort of see how much distance that takes. It was a firm stop. It was a firm stop. If we had to react to somebody driving down a highway. Any any pulling or anything straight? No, it pulled nice and straight through there. Uh, so there you go, exercise number one. So going into it this time, I am going to make a full application. That is, pedal right to the floor, but we will stop in a shorter distance this time than we did last time, I'm quite sure. Again, with this setup being a fairly new truck, we were perfectly straight throughout the whole stop. There was no balance issues on the brakes. In fact, I probably could have let go of the wheel and we would have come straight through that. It is amazing how it feels to bring 80,000 pounds from 60 miles an hour to zero in a very short distance because it varies. Uh, just to know that the equipment is capable of that, it really inspires a lot of confidence in your equipment, let me tell you that. My experience driving a truck was great. It's every driver's fantasy, I think, to get to play with a big truck under controlled circumstances. We're here at the Proving Grounds putting these brakes through their paces. And the panic stop from 60 miles, I shouldn't call it a panic stop. It's a controlled stop, but in real life it would be an emergency, making a full brake application from 60 miles an hour and bringing the truck to a solid stop. Everybody wonders what would happen under those circumstances. Well, in a good truck with a great braking system, the steering wheel never wavered from side to side. It kept me right in between the lanes, the lines exactly where I want to be. That truck was under complete control the whole time. And as a driver, that builds huge confidence in the truck you're driving and the brakes that that truck's equipped with. So now we've got the uh, air disc brakes on the truck. So we're going to come into these cones here at about uh, 30 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour, and make a modest brake application, nothing severe yet. Uh, but I'm going to hit it with about 30, maybe 40 PSI and just get the truck stopped. So here we go. On the brakes at about 30 PSI or so, bring it to a stop. No problem there. Steering never wavered. Didn't wander through the lane at all and uh, no chattering, no noise. I would say at this stage of the game, the brakes and the drums feel pretty, pretty similar. This time we're going to make a full treadle application. You are, you are sub 200 feet. Yeah. I think it was a great way to demonstrate uh, the differences and the similarities between disc brakes and drum brakes. I came away from that surprised at how similar the performance was between the two systems. We had the all drum brake in the morning and the all disc in the afternoon. And if I had to compare the two blind, I think I'd have a pretty tough time doing it. The two systems were very similar. So this truck now has got the combination brake system. It's got uh, air disc on the steer axle, drums on the drive, and drums on the trailer. We're going to punch her pretty good here from about 30 miles an hour. And just bring her right to a stop from about 55 here. And we'll hit the brakes real hard, hands off the wheel, in perfect lane position, perfectly straight. But the wheel was bouncing back and forth in response to the ABS. A little left and right. A little left and right. But does that worry me as a driver? No. And the truck was absolutely in no way out of control. It was perfectly straight in the lane, and it was going perfectly straight when it stopped. So if that activity at the steering wheel bothers a driver, um, they just have to trust and know that uh, nothing is going wrong. It's, pretty much the system doing what it's designed to do. I don't know if you noticed, but I was hands off the wheel. I mean, just off. They were far away from the sure, wheel. Sure. 
And there's there's some education there, I believe. I mean, it's stops like this are, are not something, hopefully, the, the average driver does every day. Uh, well, it's unfortunate they never get the chance to try yes, it. Yes. I, this is one of the reasons I wanted to do these videos, was to show people, okay, don't do this at home. <laughs> you know, this is what you can expect to see in a situation where you're making full brake applications because you really have to, but don't be afraid to when the time comes. My initial expectation was we were going to be seeing something a little bit different or less than the performance we got on the truck with all disc brakes. Uh, my expectations when it was over were met. The performance of the disc on the steer, drum on the drive system was fantastic, and it worked exactly the way, better than I hoped it would, uh, as a matter of fact, and uh, I would not hesitate to recommend that uh, particular specification to anybody. Jim, it's been a pleasure having you along this week on our Ride and Drive. Mark, it's been great to be here for uh, an equipment editor. It's not every day we get out to play with trucks and brakes on a test track, so I sure enjoyed it. Appreciate it. Can't wait to come back.